it's this kiss. Once upon a time, there lived a man and his wife in a cottage in the woods. They were going to have a baby, but the lady fell ill and was very sick. Next door lived a wicked witch. The witch grew flowers and herbs in her garden, but she never let anybody in. The man knew the Rapunzel herb was growing in the witch's garden, and it could save his wife's lives. So that night he crept into the witch's garden, and he picked the Rapunzel herb. The witch came rushing outside. How dare you steal from me! Shouted the wicked witch. Please, I didn't mean to. My wife is sick, said the man. If I don't give her this herb, she will die, and so will our baby. The witch thought for a moment. Okay, you can save your wife, but when the baby is born, it will be mine. Fearing his wife will die without the herb, the man sadly agreed. The Rapunzel herb made his wife well again. Not long after, she had a beautiful baby girl. The wicked witch took the baby and ran off into the woods. She named the baby Rapunzel. She locked her in the top of a tall tower so that nobody would ever see her. By the time Rapunzel grew up. Her hair was so long it reached down to the ground from the top of the tower. Every day the witch would come to see Rapunzel. She would say, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair," and then she would climb her hair to the top of the tower. One day the prince was nearby. When he heard the most beautiful voice, Rapunzel was singing in the tower. He followed the voice and saw the witch. So he hid and watched. The witch called out, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair!" And he watched her climb to the top of the tower. When the witch left, the prince climbed Rapunzel's hair. And as soon as he saw Rapunzel, he fell in love. The prince wanted to rescue her, but the Rapunzel was scared that the witch would catch her. So she said, "Come back later when it's safe." Later on, the witch climbed Rapunzel's hair, and Rapunzel said, "Ouch! Why can't you be gentle like the prince?" And the witch was furious. The witch took Rapunzel away in the darkest and the deepest part of the woods. She cut off all of her beautiful hair. So the witch hid in the tower, pretending to be Rapunzel. And she waited for the prince to come back. When the prince returned, he called Rapunzel. Rapunzel, let down your hair. And the witch holded out Rapunzel's hair for the prince to climb. When the prince got to the top, the wicked witch pushed him out the window. He landed in the thorn bush and scratched his eyes. He couldn't see and ran into the woods. Not knowing where he was going, he heard a beautiful voice. He knew it must be Rapunzel. He followed the singing until he found Rapunzel, and he told her what the witch had done. Rapunzel used a magic berry to clean the prince's eyes, and when he could see, the prince took Rapunzel to his castle. They were safe there, and his father, the king. Banish the wicked witch for the land forever, and they lived happily ever after. The end.